On the um, repair to the uh, dog pound facility, mm -hmm. is there uh, any reason why the uh, commissioners didn't want to accept funds from uh, the Friends of the Pound to help with that project? I don't know that it's so much a question as accepting funds, to my understanding. I, I think it was almost a a misunderstanding perhaps on the friends of the ponds that the $12,500 was going to enable us to, to fully provide HVAC. And of course at the point in time that we started to investigate it, again as Commissioner Creighton said, the first bad estimate was 25 to 30. That took us a period of time to investigate because we were hoping at that point in time to actually save time and not have to go through the process of specs and, and bidding. Uh, the second look was at 75 to 80, and now we're at 116. Um, it's just our, our feeling that this is a project that is the county's responsibility. It's a very, as it turns out to be, it's a, it's a six, six or seven times larger than what was anticipated by the Friends of the Pound. Pound. Um, we certainly appreciate uh, their raising the money, uh, but uh, it's our feeling that uh, given the fact that this is going to cost this large amount that we will pay for, for for the permanent improvement fund and we welcome them and encourage them to continue to raise funds and we encourage them to take that amount of money and use it for you know other purposes for the for the pound and consistent with their organization's uh, uh, charter. You know, charter and so forth and I believe that we did send them a letter, did we not, Mike, telling them to please use their funds in a way that they uh, see fit for the pound. And we appreciate, you know, their thought, but it, as Commissioner Burnaby said, it is our responsibility. So, therefore, it's out of the PI. Okay. Uh, maybe I missed it, but uh, the some terms of three or four of members of the uh, Stark County Dog Pound Advisory Board uh, expired. Has anything been done by the commissioners? Uh, with respect to those expired terms? No, it has not. Actually, we have several things on our platter with the dog, uh, the dog pound, which I feel that really take a, a, a higher priority. That being the HVAC system, the hiring of the deputy, the contract, the additional construction, the veterinarian that we're going to hire, and also preparing that room. So those things are on our platter. Um, no consideration has been given um, to the dog advisory. Where, where does what status of, with uh, the uh, depleted membership? There's probably only about three members now. What what kind of status does that uh, body uh, have? Can they go on meeting and with uh, less than a full complement of members on the body? You know what, I, I've not had the opportunity to take a look at uh, whatever resolution or, or however else they may have been created, so I'm not sure what the response to that is or is not. First of all, let me say that the creation of the Dog Advisory Council is not a creature of statute. It is a, it was a determination by a then county commissioner that brought it forth. My belief is that any citizen, whether they are on the Dog Advisory Council, whether they are a dog owner or a non-dog owner, have the ability to speak up, to bring items to our attention, concerns, comments, compliments, uh, suggestions. They can visit the pound. They can volunteer. So I don't see that the advisory board has to be in place for anyone to give us their input. Okay. So, so is that? That's my opinion. Yeah, is that a signal that? Uh, that is my opinion. That the advisory board is uh, going to be history. That was commissioner's. That's my opinion. opinion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Again, we have, I believe, much more um, important issues to address. We have heard their concerns over the years that they've been upset about the HVAC system. You know, we wanted to make some constru constru um, construction changes down there. The contract was most important. I'm going to reiterate that again. They were very instrumental in, in pointing us to a veterinarian. That will also help um, our day-to-day -day procedures and getting that room prepared. So I think we need to take care of those particular items at hand and, and the other things will will follow. So I, I take it that the commissioner has been appreciative of the work that sure. the advisors have done? I appreciate anything anybody does to help promote our county and help further the um, the treatment of animals and the care of the animals. 
we are appreciative of both of their work, the mm -hmm. contribution by the Friends of the Pound, and really of all the volunteers that work down there. From my perspective, and I've been looking at this for approximately a year and a half, I, I see a lot of progress, I think, that's being made at the dog pound. Uh, we have both the, the smaller capital project made. You know, we've got this HVAC, I think, now, at least at the point now where it's going to go out to bid, and I'm happy to see that it's going out to bid. You know, we wish it had been in place for this hot summer, but unfortunately it wasn't. Uh, we made some personnel changes. You know, we have a new contract in place. We have the veterinarian contract coming into place, as Commissioner Creighton said. And uh, today at the department head meeting, again, we continue to see on a monthly basis the statistics of the dog pounds with regard to issues of adoptions, placements, euthanasias, you know, comparative periods of time, by the way. And in all areas that we see, you know, we see improvements happening. They may not be as quick, I guess, as everyone in the world would like to see them, but we think that improvements are being made. Uh, and we are, I know Commissioner Creighton went out there last week to stop in. I went out there probably two weeks to stop in on a hot day because that would concern the HVAC system. Uh, I know that uh, Dr. Pete has been out there. So, you know, it's, it's a department that we can continue to look at, but, we, but at least from my perspective, when I speak for myself, I, I think that we're making progress. There. That other counties, if, if they see a dog there's that we exchange, have, yes. there's an exchange yes. of information. And, I, and again, I will say, I do believe that euthanasia is our last resort. Oh, it is. I mean, I, sure. I know she tries to adopt them out or give them right. to the Humane Society or get them to another pound if, in fact, they are adoptable dogs. Uh, Commissioner Creighton. On your point that you yes. made uh, very clearly that uh, the monies uh, to fix the uh, uh, ventilation problems mm -hmm. at the pounds coming out of the capital mm -hmm. funds of the county general sure. fund, uh, do you think uh, over time, you know, with the uh, fee increases last year, that the uh, dog and kennel fund should be building up a uh, capital improvements fund of its own? Well, I would hope, but, but I, I think it would take a pretty giant step and the increase in dog tags. Uh, again, we have a facility that is how old? 25 years at old least, at, least. at least. And unfortunately, over time, um, it has not been probably kept up the way it should be. And if you want to take that as criticism, so be it. But I, I have to also understand sitting in this seat, I understand what commissioners are faced with. You know, you get this platter of all these different issues in the county, and you have to decide, you know, where you're going to direct your funds. And I don't know that we've ever taken general fund money like that and directed it to the dog pound and for the capital. So, I mean, I know... Dog people probably think, hey, hip, hip, hooray, you know, we got this done, and yes, they should be happy. But they need to understand that we made a conscientious choice to take that out of the PI fund to make sure that that pound is brought up to the, to the standards that it should be brought up. And this may be at the sacrifice of other county projects. You know, could be.